Today, let us learn about medium length transmission lines. Medium length transmission lines. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> what is meant by medium length transmission lines? We mean that our length is between 80 km and 240 km. Right. We have a medium length of transmission line. Uh, that is when we have to consider our capacitors. Understood. Usually we, we consider pure capacitance uh, uh, as what as uh, in your medium length transition lines. Okay. So uh, that is one important thing. Uh, when in the case of a short transition line, your length is comparatively smaller. That is why you don't have to consider capacitance. But when your length increases after an extent, then you have to consider about the capacitance also. Uh, but still we can go forward, still we can go for lump parameter model. Even though we are considering capacitance, which is distributed all around, but still we can go for a lumped parameter model. That is uh, not an issue here. Uh, so uh, that is not an issue here in which way so uh, even 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 when we uh, use it for analysis uh, using this equivalent circuit the accuracy is quite okay when you consider a lamp parameter model so, okay so we have uh, what the admittance branch okay capacitance means we have our admittance uh, uh, branch uh, like that so uh, uh, what uh, uh, the, I already told you in the last class that there are two uh, ways to represent a medium length transition line. One is called as nominal nominal pi. Another one is called as nominal t. Right. So uh, uh, our discussion will be on nominal pi. Nominal t you can try. Uh, you will get similar equations. So no, uh, we will be. I will be discussing nominal pi for today. Nominal pi means uh, it is with the structure of it. it. It is having a we say pi model because it is, it is having a pi like kind of structure. Uh, your equivalent circuit will look like this: that you have your series branch consisting of what resistance and uh, inductance. Right? Let, let me mark it as impedance branch. Okay, I am calling it as the impedance branch. That is already the similar to what the short transition line. But uh, in a medium transition line, we have to consider one more thing. What is that? That is the admittance. So admittance, we will divide into half and add it on the two sides. Okay, it is capacitance. So admittance, I am representing in y, y, y. So on one side, it is y by 2. On the other side, it is y by 2. Okay. So this is the equivalent. Now, this is called uh, what is called as nominal pi. If you look, it will look like a pi structure, right? So uh, this y by 2 uh, is on both sides. In a nominal t, what will happen? In a nominal t, you will have uh, the admittance on the center and you will divide resistance and inductance on two halves. Okay, you will keep it in the middle. So we usually go for this kind of a structure. Uh, this is the nominal pi structure where what in z is what z is the total impedance of the line and y means what y is the total admittance of the line and uh, means what uh, this capacitance branches. So we will add y by 2 means one half of it on the one side and another half on the other side. So this is the uh, this is the way we represent our medium length transition line. Okay. Now uh, let us say uh, like uh, our uh, in short terms line we have derived what we have derived two equation like in terms of a b c d parameter v s we will be representing as a v r plus b i r and i s also we represented in terms of what v r and uh, i r right sending in parameters in, 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 uh, in terms of what receiving in parameter so in this equivalent circuit uh, this is my sending end voltage and uh, this is my what this is my receiving end voltage clear so this is my sending end voltage and this is my receiving end voltage whatever be the current entering that is what my sending end current and whatever be the current leaving here or the, my output this is my receiving end current clear so this is the, this is how we represent uh, medium length transmission line sending end voltage receiving end voltage sending end current and receiving end current right so I think uh, you are uh, clear with this. Now, now our primary objective, uh, our primary objective is what? 
our primary objective is to find out this a b c d parameters or let us see how we can represent our sending end and receiving end currents in terms of what in terms of the sending end and receiving end uh, 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 currents okay sending end and receiving currents how can we uh, how can we connect connect them together okay in terms of a b c d parameter so that's our objective so first let us represent what uh, see the equation for vs okay how we have to find the vs right vs as you can see from the figure that it is what is it is addition of voltage across this branch plus voltage across this branch right or uh, it is the voltage across which branch uh, uh, around this capacitance or admittance branch y by 2 which is equal to what voltage across this branch plus voltage across this branch that is the best way to represent it in terms of what vr and ir we have to represent vs in terms of vr and ir so that is our aim let's let us see how we are going to do that okay mm. okay so how we are going to uh, achieve that okay see here mm. What is the uh, uh, this uh, what is the current uh, this is I R right so what is the current that is uh, flowing through uh, uh, this uh, admittance if you uh, if you know admittance in order to get current in order to get the current what current flowing this whatever be the current flowing through this band it will be given by what voltage into admittance because admittance is what in inverse of impedance right so voltage into voltage across this cap this capacitor is vr on the admittance of the branch is what y by 2 so vr into y by 2 will give you the current across uh, which is flowing into this admittance clear so vr into y by 2 is the current flowing through this right so uh, already we defined that the current flowing through uh, uh, flowing out, out right current flow flowing to the receiving end that is what that is ir then uh, what uh, if we apply kcl here here at, uh, at this node what will happen you will see that over this series branch consisting of resistance and inductance what will be the total current flowing here that current or whatever be the total current flowing here that will be equal to what that will be equal to i r plus v r y by 2 right the current is coming like this uh, and it is splitting in, into two like a two ways it is splitting one is i r another one is what v r into y by 2 so total current flowing through this place it will be equal to what it will be equal to i r plus v r into y by 2 clear so that uh, that, that much i think is clear for you i r plus v r into y by 2 right so that is the current flowing through this branch as i already mentioned v s is equal to what voltage across this thing which is what which is the receiving end voltage itself and the uh, voltage drop across the series branch that will give you the total v s so v s i can write as what what is the total current which is flowing through the series branch that i have already got as i r plus v r into i i by 2 so that is equal to i r plus v r into to y by 2 that is the current right into what into whatever be the series impedance that will give me the potential across the uh, this branch so we are we are IR plus we are into y by 2 into z that got me what this potential across the series branch plus whatever be the potential across the receiving end means what v r that will give me the sending end voltage okay now let us uh, just uh, deduce our relationship from this what I can do if I take uh, take the z into this bracket, I will get z into sorry yeah z into i r plus what plus again I am taking it into the bracket so v r into z y by two right plus v r so here I will take v r in com as common so I will get v r into one plus z y by two right v r into one plus v r into z y by two so v r into one plus z y by two plus z i r so we have already represented what sending in voltage uh, with this we have represented in terms of what receiving and sending in voltage in terms of receiving and voltage and uh, the receiving and current so out of abcd parameters we already have our a and b now let us uh, or let, now let us de define our second term what is the second uh, second relation for what for the sending and current i l so basically what is the sending and current sending and current as, as we already discussed here sending and current all, is also getting splitted up here right sending and current is splitted up into two ways one is this way and another one is this this current we already mentioned which is equal to i r plus v r into y by 2 the to the series then plus what will come plus whatever be the sending and voltage into y by 2 will be the current flowing through this parallel branch right so i s will be equal to what addition of both of them which is what v s into y by 2 plus what uh, v s 
into y by 2 plus what whatever be the current which is flowing to the series branch which is vr or ir plus vr into y by 2 so ir sorry ir uh, plus vr into y by 2 so that is the, uh, the that is what so this is the sending end current right so this is the total uh, send, uh, sending end uh, current uh, uh, flowing through but here we our term is what here we have a vs here if you we, then we have to substitute that vs in this equation so let us substitute our vs in this equation so is will become uh, what we are just substituting this uh, this equation into this equation so what, what will be is I uh, or Vs we can write like this. So Vs I will write Vr into 1 plus Zy by 2, right? Uh, plus Zir, right? So that is what uh, uh, that, that is my uh, Vs, right? So that v, Vs into y by 2 as per this equation plus what plus Ir plus what Vr into y by 2. So that is my total uh, equation here, okay? Now, if you rearrange this equation, like first let us multiply it inside, what will happen? V R into uh, Y by 2, right? V R into Y by 2 uh, plus what? V R into, yeah, V R into Y, 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 y into Y by 2 or let me take the this V R into Y by 2. V R into y by 2 as common. Okay, so V R into y by 2 plus what? 1 plus z y by 2. Right, I am just multiplying it here. So 1 plus z y by 2 plus what? Plus z y by 2 into i r. Okay, you can derive it yourself. z y by 2 into i r plus i r plus what? Plus V R into Y by 2. So uh, that is the equation here. First I have taken this inside. V R into Y by 2 into 1 plus Z by 2 to come. Then this term Z Y by 2 into I R. Plus what? I R plus V R into Y by 2. So uh, this is the equation. Right. So now if you see here. You have a V R into Y by 2 into 1 plus Z Y by 2 term here. And you have a V R into Y by 2 term on the other side. So if you take V R of V R into y by 2 as common what you will have it is unity here so 1 plus 1 you will have 2 2 plus z y by 2 right plus what plus uh, z y by 2 into i r plus i r so here also you have i r in common so that also you can take out if i uh, multiply this uh, take this 2 inside what it will become v r into y into what uh, this 2 will if it get inside it will become 2 here Y is it is it is it y divided by four right plus what as I already mentioned I R I will take it out in common so this will become one plus is it y by two clear so this is quite clear I think we are into y into one plus z y by four plus I R into one plus z y by two so that is our I S so the, our secondary uh, second equation is also derived what the sending and current is derived in terms of what receiving and voltage as well as receiving and currents. So that also is uh, clear. So uh, with that, now uh, we can easily define what our equations, right? We can easily define our ABCD parameter. So this is IS. Similarly, we have already pointed out our VS also, which is what which is given by one plus Z Y by uh, two into V R plus what plus Z I R. That is our first equation. Second equation. This is our first equation, and this is our second equation so what are the abcd parameter uh, vs is given by a vr plus b ir and uh, uh, is is given by what c vr plus d ir right so from that we can say that what is a a is given by 1 plus zy divided by 2 right and what is b b is given by z only impedance and what is c C is given by, uh, here we have VR here, so remaining is C. So Y into 1 plus Z Y by 4, right. Y into 1 plus Z Y by 4. So this is my uh, C parameter and what is D? D is again given by 1 plus Z Y divided by 2. So uh, these are the four ABCD parameter for a nominal pi configuration of medium length transistor line. I urge you to uh, do the same for nominal T configuration and see what you get. 
okay so here one uh, thing you can see is that your a and d parameter right so a and d parameter are equal right a and d parameter are equal and b and c they are different and b is the having the unit of what ohms and c is as you see closely here c admittance is coming here is it the y when you multiply it it will become dimensionless so uh, it, uh, c will have the dimension of what it will have the dimension of mo or you can also represent it in what siemens also so uh, uh, it will have the dimension of admittance so uh, that is that is about b and c parameter b will be in what in uh, ohms only and c will be in mo so siemens so that also we can understand uh, from this okay and if you consider a and d as i already mentioned z into y means what impedance into admittance admittance is again what inverse of impedance only so this one plus z y by two for a and d they are equal and they are dimensionless also they are equal and what they are dimensionless also that also uh, you, you should understand this and this is quite common for all transition lines that a and d they will be what dimension uh, it will be dimensionless b and c what about b and c they are uh, b is in ohms and uh, c is in mos or siemens and usually here it is quite easier but usually the, uh, the or really uh, or uh, really this abcd parameters are what they are complex numbers okay they are complex numbers uh, in uh, reality so a and d are dimensionless and whenever we uh, for a two port network you say a equal to d it means that uh, whether you go from uh, one side or the other side uh, the uh, your system should give uh, the same response okay or it is like a bilateral network so uh, that, that 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 is what is meant by uh, this that a and d are equal okay so this is how we uh, derive abcd parameters and i think you are yeah, you now uh, you are now having an understanding uh, about uh, medium length transition line now one more important point i want to mention here is once again i am writing vs is given by a vr uh, plus b ir right and uh, i s is given by uh, c v r plus d i r okay how can we find out this a b parameters uh, or what is the uh, what is the importance of this parameter okay so if i have to find out a what i should do is that i will make i r equal to zero i think you are familiar with this from your analog electronics or uh, network theory i will make i r equal to zero so how can i uh, if i r is zero what uh, v s will become v s will be equal to a v r when your i r equal to zero i r equal to zero again implicates that you are having an open circuit right on one end your circuit is open circuited then you will not have any current so that is what is meant by i r equal to zero so this is vs equal to a vr right now uh, let now uh, let us see vs equal to a vr so what will be a a will be given by vs divided by vr provided what at a condition that i r equal to zero or you have an open circuit or i can say that this is what this is the no load like the, this is when no no load is happening okay the ratio between sending end and receiving end voltage when you have a no load that is what is given by what a and how, how it is important let us take the calculation of voltage regulation what is voltage regulation or uh, let me take percentage voltage regulation it is given by v r no load right minus what minus v r full load or at a particular power factor divided by what v r full load right so this is what our voltage regulation is into 100 percentage right the rise in what the rise in uh, 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 rise in the receiving end voltage when you are what when you are open circuiting it right first you have a receiving end voltage we are full load then what you open circuited you have what we are no load so once you open circuited it what is the uh, uh, what is the voltage okay or uh, so that rise uh, as a percentage of what full load receiving end voltage when it is extended, that we call as the receiving end voltage so here uh, if you con uh, clearly observe you can see that uh, a is uh, defined when a is defined when you are uh, you have an open circuit right so here uh, this vr means what that is the no load vr so i can write it in terms of what the sending end voltage or sending in the constant sending end voltage we we define what this is defined at what sending end voltage is constant so uh, under that condition i can define it as what vs modulus of vs by a i already told you these are all complex numbers so modulus of uh, uh, magnitude of what vs by a minus what our vr full load uh, 
डिवाइडेड बाय वी आर फुल लोड इन टू हंड्रेड अंडरस्टूड सो वंस यू नो वाट इज वाट इज द वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन सॉरी वंस यू नो वाट इज द रिसीविंग एंड वोल्टेज अंडर दैट पर्टिकुलर पावर फैक्टर और अंडर फुल लोड अंडर दैट कंडीशन यू नो दैट एंड यू नो वाट इज द सेंडिंग एंड वोल्टेज एज वेल एज द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द सर्क्यूट देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन यूजिंग दिस ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर और यूजिंग द ए पैरामीटर लाइक दिस दीज पैरामीटर्स आर इंपॉर्टेंस एंड दिस इज द वोल्टेज इक्वेशन फॉर वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन फॉर ए मीडियम Medium length transition line. Okay, or uh, for any uh, line, this this it is the way to calculate it. So uh, this is about medium length transition line. As I already told you, uh, now you can uh, go and derive it for what nominal uh, t. Write in write it in your notes. Okay, and uh, from the next lecture we will get into long transition lines. Thank you.